We got to get a look at these beauties. All of my honeysuckles are blooming at the same time. So let's take a look at them, shall we? Here they are over here. Do 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 do. So first we have this guy that I planted 10 years ago and I've trimmed every year because I mean this grows very well called uh, Major Wheeler. I believe that's what it's called. W-H-E-E-L-E-R. Major Wheeler Honeysuckle. I don't love these because... <sighs> Let me see if I can... They seem a little bit better this year, but the opening's not very big. And uh, they're not as like like strong stem strong flowers or like big thick flowers like some of these other ones i'm just thinking in terms of like the um hummingbird being able to get into it so anyways this is this one seems like it blooms last but my other ones are still blooming man it smells really good around here right now so this is peaches and cream you can see one see what i mean it's like just much bigger you know definitely easier access bigger thicker tougher flower petals I still like the wheeler, don't get me wrong. So the peaches and, now, the peaches and cream along with this one called um, Sensation. And I think that's what I'm smelling right now. These are just, smell really good. I can smell it from here. And this is like a whitish yellow flower. So pretty. This one actually gets a lot of berries. Red berries after it's done blooming. But this is probably getting close to finished blooming. See, there's a couple young flowers here. But like this has been blooming for at least maybe a week, week and a half already. Uh, honeysuckles bloom, I'd say for a few weeks, maybe, maybe two weeks to four weeks. Some maybe bloom a little bit longer than others. But yeah, this is a pretty one, isn't it? Peach isn't very dark, kind of pinkish, almost red with white, tones of white and pink. Very pretty. actually get some close-ups so these two are only like a couple years old and they've already like grown all the way up so very nice and healthy and look at all those on the bottom all the flowers let's take another quick look at the wheeler almost like a bright yellowish orange tips really pretty isn't it you kind of see that Let's turn around and look at the other ones now. The sensation. Hopefully the spoons for a couple more weeks because you still have some young ones that are just starting right now. You can like see, see all these little ones here. So honeysuckles are great for hummingbirds. They're just really cool. And if you don't have a lot of room, just get a tall trellis for adding lots of flowers into a small space wonderful flowers. Here's a clematis that I just bought this year. Um, the card said it was one of the most popular. It's called a Jack Manny. So like dark purple flowers. So yeah, back here we have clematis. Clematis and honeysuckle. Let's see, there's like this bare area between there. So I wanted to get, get something new. And I got one down here that's just very tiny this year. That's more of a whitish pink color clematis. That would be real pretty. See, this is the remnants of one that we had, a clematis. It's kind of like dark burgundy red, but there don't seem to be very many anymore. So it's just like dying back. It's not doing real well. So I might just take it out and get one more thing over here. And here is this honeysuckle. And I don't exactly know what it is because we've had this here for probably 15 years, this honeysuckle. but it definitely shares some color with the peaches and cream, but just a little bit lighter. And there's actually a little bit of yellow in there too. Let me go ahead and back up. Take one more look at this beautiful display of honeysuckles with some 
beautiful clematis. Yeah, you see those bare spots? So we got those two uh, clematis and the bare spots will fill out so wonderfully. Looks so pretty. Only for a brief moment in time, though, for maybe a few weeks in June. Beautiful. And I do this all for the pollinators, so this makes me think of a lot of happy hummingbirds that are going to be around here right now. Let's take one quick look at the, the new perennials that we planted in this freshly tilled area. You got the salvia, you got the coneflowers, I got some uh, phlox, some bee balm, got some various uh, wild indigo swamp milkweed, different flowers, and this is an apeta. Let me take a quick close-up look at this. Yep. So, that is it. Wanted to focus on those beautiful honeysuckles on this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll have lots of new stuff blooming to show you.